welcome one and all uh, out in the internet and here. Tonight is a uh, one-shot pickup game here in the UAG set on the Isle of Ironwood. And our amazing heroes, young as they are, untempered as they are, have set out with this foot caravan to go on from Dublin to Bardwood. It's been a relatively uneventful trip so far, but they get into the foothills just outside of Bardwood and it's two o'clock in the morning and the caravan is beset upon by these dark shadowy figures and the caravan is laid awry. And that's where we're going to bring in this picture with our mighty characters, heroes that they look and hope to be. Uh, as far as that, we'll start with uh, Boris Iron Fist. What are, after this attack, what are you doing and give a, uh, in, in that, give a little description of yourself to our viewers? Well, um, Orsic is, um, of course, he's a dwarf. He's actually a dwarf uh, merchant. And, um, he has a, a mule and a small cart that uh, he currently has. Um, he was uh, helping to transport some of the goods, you know, making a little bit of cash. Um, and essentially, uh, do I understand, are, are we being attacked or is, this, or is this after the attack? It, this is after the attack. You've already been attacked. It, it's um, picture it such as a um, early morning, late night guerrilla attack that one would put on. Okay. A hit, a hit and run. Um, he was probably seen uh, trying to fend off especially his, protecting his wagon, um, uh, getting up in the uh, middle of the night. Uh, you know, he, he was seen uh, punching people and, and kicking them. And, uh, uh, and there was this one, he, he actually head bashed one of them. Okay. Let's jump uh, from there to Aylin. Uh, Aelin is a, um, sorry, Aelin is a <laughs> ghostwise, ghostwise halfling, and, uh, she, um, is a cartographer, kind of, of the area. She doesn't really have any memories of her past, except that, uh, of the nightmares, um, in a, of a battle that she has occasionally. Um, she would have just she would have been in, in this job to go with them and maybe make like a crudely drawn map of the path that they take. Um, during the fight, she uh, she would have been running around and um trying to uh like distract people and help help the others uh land better hits. Like a battlefield controller and kind of. Okay. All right. And Palman. Uh, 
Salomon is a uh, Triton warrior um, and seemingly very proud to be so. Um, he wields a uh, somewhat stereotypically, I guess, a trident in one hand and a shield in the other, and is a fairly uh, stalwart uh, fighter when it comes down to it. Uh, standing tall in the face of danger, protecting allies where they need protecting, and okay. otherwise making a nuisance of themselves. Uh, probably once in the fight, uh, depending on how um, how the fight went, uh, you may have seen his weapon flash with a divine kind of radiance of sorts. Um, but he only tends to do that if the fight is close or if it's super necessary. So I don't know how. It didn't go well for the caravan that well much. Let's uh, right. let's put it in that tone. Yeah, so people probably could see it. All right. So you guys are picking up your pieces and such. Um, and you notice that there's a lot of non-moving caravan folks that were with you that aren't moving anymore. You started with uh, uh, not counting your crew. Uh, you, there was 12 uh, caravan members with their goods they had on backpack, uh, some on hand carts and such. You see things strewn about. Uh, it definitely looks like things that were taken or missing. Uh, or are missing uh, as best you could tell from a cursory look. So what are you guys going to be doing? Uh, Aiden will probably check um, to find out who's alive and who's not. All right, and let's see here. We'll put you guys right here with the yellow ball. And uh, give me uh, how, uh, explain to me how you're going to check to see if they're alive or not. Uh, I'd probably just check the pulse on their neck. All right. Uh, g uh, give me, uh, we'll say on this initial uh, three medicine checks. One for each. Okay, there we go. Um, stupid thing. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, the channel. All right, one, two, three D twenties. D twenty. Is wisdom is wisdom with the um, uh, medicine? Yeah. Yes, it is. I. Uh, I... a twenty-two, a six. And a 13. They all seem dead to you. Damn. Um, over to uh, <laughs> Iron Fist. I'm going to cheat. <laughs> so what are you doing? Um, well, I'm going to pick up some of my goods, throw them back on the cart, and I'm going to look around and I'm going to say, my ring! Someone uh, took my damn ring! All right. So you hear this shouting out and he's putting this, uh, trying to put his uh, stock and trade back together in a, in a form. 
Um, Palamon, what are you doing? You hear him, my ring, my ring. You hear, damn, they're dead. <laughs> uh, he's going to be kind of on the on the lookout, as it were, yeah. um, making sure. Uh, did we kind of, the, the people that attacked, did we kill them or just drive them off? Uh, basically, uh, they uh, kind of ran off. Not so much uh, that you drove them off, though you did, uh, you know, assist in making them speedy about their way. Okay, but they, they kind of ran off. So uh, he's going to be keeping an eye out, um, making, like, trying to watch for if they come back, that kind of thing. All right. Did you uh, check out the Zoom chat? Ryan? Uh, I haven't seen it. Uh, um, I will let you know. Okay, oh. thank you. Uh, I'm going to make a way over to the uh, caravan master and check in and see how the caravan fared. And uh, you find the caravan master and he's laying on the ground. Is he alive? Give me a medicine check. 14. 14. You think he is just barely alive. Uh, can I use my medicine to make sure that he doesn't die? Yeah. You can try to stabilize him. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, yeah. I guess I uh, better be checking some of these other people. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to start going around and seeing who is alive and who needs stabilizing. Yeah, okay. And I think I'm waiting for a response from Aylin. About what? Oh, uh, what I put, uh, what I asked there, but you just, okay. Yeah, I just put no it problem. in. Yep, no problem. Just so I, I know um, as, as far as that. All right, um, back to uh, Iron Fist is checking the caravan master, kind of stabilized them and said, well, better be checking these others. You don't know how good of a job he did on stabilizing them. Uh, there was a waver in his voice when he said that. So. What's uh. I could try to double check it. Oh, let's see here. We got it somewhere. Well, how? I just prefer perspective. How tall are you guys? Aylin's, she's three, two. My, my dwarf is almost five foot tall. Okay. okay, so I am almost certainly the tallest. Oh, for uh, sure. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I'm just trying to get an idea of how tall Vikings generally are. I don't think they're super tall, but they are taller than dwarves. And uh, pretty sure they're about the same size as humans. Huh? I was gonna say they're at least human. Yeah, they're like six five something like that. Make them whatever height you want to be. <laughs> or for the late join. Oh, that's all right. I told you to jump on when you. Uh, yeah, I, I, was, <laughs> I was trying to uh, help Elisa get her character ready. Okay, that's no problem at all. Um, uh, right now, we'll just uh, you guys get your characters together, and and you may be part of you're part of the caravan that got hit here, and so you may be some of the bodies or that they saved. <laughs> <laughs> right on, sounds good. As as far as that. So, um, Elisa, um, jump into the Zoom meeting. Just, just jump in. 
and he said we can we can finish up our characters and stuff and then we'll just um i guess post it so he can see it no we'll, we'll just run with it the and we'll work things on out it's, i mean it's not like uh i'm gonna charge you a surcharge and report you to the irs and then uh tell the uh, officials out there that you're not wearing your mask <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, this is uh, this is supposed to be fun, light, having a good time. So, uh, but uh, we'll we'll just make you part of the twelve that were uh, hit and and like that. So, just uh, in the in the the Zoom chat, just let me know when you guys are uh, ready, and then I'll, I'll work you guys. So you're checking, uh, uh, you're checking uh, the other bodies, uh, right? Palamon, was that? Uh, no, Palamon was keeping watch. Uh, okay. Sure that these people don't come back. Okay. All right. Palamon's on watch. We have uh, Aelin and Iron Fist that are checking bodies. Uh, and... The answer to Aelin's question, by the way, was uh, he's a solid six foot. Okay. So can I check more people? Yeah, you you can you can check more people. How many? Uh, you did three. There's uh -huh. four. Uh, so there's eight more. Okay. Uh, Palamon will three. kind of call out to you guys. Um, if you find people that are alive, I can heal them. No. Well, the... Oh, you can stabilize them. Good. The the caravan master was uh, he was in bad shape, but I kind of I put a kind of bandage on him. I mean, he's, he he'll be okay, I think. I think. How many can? How many more can I check? Uh, we'll say for the time that you'll take on it. Uh, uh, I'll say three. I'll say an, uh, another another three. Uh, because the medicine check is supposed to be an action to do it, so that'd okay. be like three. Another, what the hell? Another thirteen. Another. I got a six. Another six. Jesus, what the hell? And <laughs> All right. Um, you'll you'll notice one. Uh, one seems to be alive. The others uh, from your check. And, how, and what you're checking is uh, you're, you're saying, "Oh man, they're gone. They're dead." I don't feel I don't feel no thump, the deep thump since you're checking for pulses. Uh, hey, hey Palamon, can you come uh, uh, heal him, please? <laughs> uh, sure. Uh, Palamon will go over and give him one point of lay on him. Oh, okay. And uh, okay, let's see here. And uh, that will uh, the eyes will flicker a little bit and will be uh, moving, so you know that they're they are alive. Uh, what the heck here? Okay. Loading. Uh, ready. Ready, ready. And uh, Delilah, the wicked, is it? Or wick? Uh, let's Delilah see. the wicked? Yeah, wicked. Okay. Uh, um, what the... What does your character look like? Maybe I should say. Okay. All right. Uh, can you hear me, Delilah? I guess not. Uh, Mukbang, what does your character look like? Uh, 
Mukbang is a uh, eight foot tall and three hundred pound bugbear. Uh, he he is menacing in appearance, but also a little bit glazed over in the eyes. Oh, he's real glazed. He he's real glazed <laughs> over right at the moment, and but I, I needed that little bit of feeler, so I knew what it, oh, what it would be. The uh, other guy that the Al, Alan, uh, Alan, uh, you were working on, you uh, mm -hmm. stepped over. You thought it was a bear rug. <laughs> And all of a sudden, you hear a groan from your back from that direction, Aelin. And uh, you see Mukbung uh, kind of rolling back and forth uh, with a big, uh, even for his size, a big noticeable uh, goose egg on his forehead. <laughs> oh dear, you took quite a blunder there. Muckhead heart. <laughs> oh. What happened, Muck? Uh, as a rule, I would uh, try and avoid getting hit with warhammers in the future. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah, good idea. Oh. Do you have... Uh... Mukbang forget. Head hurt. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and the, uh, basically the last one that looks as a possible, possible for uh, any of you uh, except for Mukbang, because you're still kind of hazy to uh, kind of look at as you see this. And I'm going to take a leap of faith. Uh, Delilah, well, which I would think is a female's name. Uh, we see this female laying there out, okay. out cold, uh, not moving. So uh, Palbon was... Uh, healing the other out uh, Aelin, uh they're working on the one Iron, uh, Iron Fist you, uh, you're the closest to the uh, to the female um, Hobgoblin a female Hobgoblin mm -hmm. okay <laughs> I, what did I say at the beginning of this before they even jumped in? It's beautiful. Oh, God, I'm more lie. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take, take a cursory look at Delilah with the medical 11. Move on. Okay. Uh, you, uh, with the, uh, Eleven, you're not sure. You may need some help for the the check to make sure. Uh, you can't I'll tell. Try. You can't With tell. Them. You can't tell whether or not she's dead or just knocked out, <laughs> and still knocked out. So, and go ahead, Delilah. I I know uh, you were getting ready to say something there, so go ahead. Oh. You guys hear me real fast? Yeah, yeah, we hear you. Okay. Well, if I may describe myself. Yeah, go ahead. Of course, I, uh, I'm a rather typical half golden, red skin, and slightly darker red hair. Um, am I to assume that my eyes are closed? Yeah, you got uh, the you're uh, you're a part of a, uh, a walking caravan from Dublin, which is uh, let me see here, uh, get my little bouncing ball to make it easier. Is over here. You guys were traveling over to Bardwood. You got 
about here. It was pretty quiet most of the trip when you got here to these foothills just outside of Barwood at about two o'clock in the morning and were set upon. And a lot of the caravan uh, took some heavy losses financially and uh, bodily-wise. You know, somehow during it, you got hit in the head, out you went, muck bungs, about the same. Um, and Palmon, Aylin, and Iron Fist is, uh, we're, we're standing and trying to take care and, and secure the area, take care of the ones that are down and secure the area. So that's the lay of the land that you have. All right. Well, if I am to, to open my eyes, they would they are gray in color. And I imagine I have the largest headache. I don't know, Mukbang may uh, want to try to compete with you on that one. <laughs> um, Muck, your uh, character sheet does not load. Yeah, it, not that big a deal. Uh, uh, I'm just going to let him know. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. I'm sure, it's I'm, probably... I'm sure, he, uh, sure he appreciates that, but uh, we'll, we'll just keep on moving along, and we got real live mouths and stuff we can describe things and use our imagination <laughs> who needs paper and digits hey do you uh wait what's his name yeah that's what it, okay uh, i accidentally uh, set it to uh to private but it should be public now sorry okay. about that uh, that's all right hey um, mr Calamon, do you remember which way they fled to oh uh is that something that someone would remember uh, give me a intelligence roll. Uh, just straight intelligence? Yep, just straight intelligence. 14. 14. Uh, you would say they were hard to see. You know, it's shadowy and all that. But my, your best guess uh, would be, let's get up here and I will uh, guess draw say that you would say that they went this away. So away from um, the town? Yeah. And this map is kind of oriented uh, with north directly up? Yes. Uh, okay, so he'll kind of look around and say, uh, well, it's harder to get my bearings on land than it is under the water. But I think they went in a northeasterly direction. Okay, so not back to Bartwood. Uh, no, I'll wait for scribble me. something down on a piece of paper. These, um, these men be uh, bold striking so close to the town. Yeah, I do say you're right about that. Mm, you want muckbug hitman? Uh, well, we'll need to find them first, month, but once we do, uh, then yes, you can hit them as much as you like. Oh. They okay. also fixed my necklace. Mm. And let me set these others up. They will mm. pay for such a grievous insult. Mukbang like pay. <laughs> Uh, not this kind of thing. Uh, different kind of thing. Oh. Uh, like, revenge. Ah. Uh, Mukbang like revenge. Vengeance good. Oh, uh, yeah. Very good. Well, let, let's see what uh, what they left for us. Oh. Uh, the, uh, Delilah, you are awake. Uh, Iron Fist, what was that for? Oh, I just wanted to tell you. Okay. Oh, 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 oh all right. I got you now. No problem. 
Ayla is going to check to see what's left on the cart, if there's still anything like that could even be delivered. Uh, you would uh, find about uh, Romy percentage dice. Okay. Let's do it that way. And additionally, do we know where it was going to? Yeah, uh, your 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 caravan was you knew and uh, was destined for Bardwood. Well, I mean, like, do we know the contact that he was going to make? Like, who the delivery is supposed to go to? Or do we know just, just going to Ardwood somewhere? Well, the, basically going to, uh, I believe, the Merchant's Guild or the Money Lenders. Or, there's a couple different uh, people that had certain things on no, that caravan that, that was being transported. Yeah, fifty-seven on the percentile. Fifty percent, uh, percent of the stuff that you're t uh, bringing is gone. Oh. Mm. Well, I don't want to kind of look around. Uh, does anybody else have personal items missing? Uh, yes. I know that you'd said there was a ring missing. Uh, they also took my necklace, so I'm just wondering. Uh, if that is the case for anybody else. Yeah, they took my necklace too, but it was just rocks. <laughs> <laughs> that's cute. That's cute. The uh, mukbang, that's cute. <laughs> uh, no, muk missing favorite treasure is jewel to protect jewels. He's missing. <laughs> Who look <laughs> under mukbang leathers? He has a jeweled cod piece that is missing. <laughs> a jeweled what? Cod piece. Uh, cod piece. Armor for his uh, his jewels. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Um, Tazala has woken up and just kind of taken time to survey the situation and rub her head. I, I'm afraid I do believe that we were set upon by a most cowardly sort to attack us, steal our things, and then leave us alive without even fully completing the job. I do find that most insulting. That was their uh, first mistake. It will also be their last mistake. I agree. And well, you start seeing... Uh, the morning light breaking through the darkness barely things starting to get lighter that's a that's it, about uh, 4.30 in the morning for you do you guys want to do you want to deliver this do you want to finish the delivery to Bardwood and then track our uh Attackers, or do you just want to go fight them first? Well, I suppose it depends uh, on whether or not what we were delivering got stolen. Uh, it um, looks like, well, like half of it. most of it's gone, but there's still about almost half. Well, how are the um, are the caravan people looking like they're going to be recovering? Uh, the majority of them, uh are dead. You do have a handful there out of the eight. You have three that survived, not counting uh, your two other companions. And uh, to add and uh, to add that uh, you have to go up, I think, on your profile to do that, uh, to change your picture. Uh, sure. Is that right, Ryan? The picture, um, change your picture to go to bio and info, and then edit. Uh, I, so you, you, I guess you probably can do it that way. I tend to, along the top where everybody's names are, if you find yourself, hover over it, there's three, uh, 
there's a kind of three dot. If you're logged into Zoom and you click on that, uh, it gives you the option for edit profile picture. If the edit profile picture option isn't there, it's because you're not logged into Zoom. Gotcha. Okay. Thank you. Uh, strangely, you can be on Zoom without being logged into Zoom. Well, oh, it's the uh, de definitely. well, it's the difference between coming in through the URL port or having the uh, application. Yeah. Gotcha. Thank you. Appreciate it. No problem. We're here. We're here to help everybody. So it's all good. Uh, I would put forward that if we went after these uh, vagabonds uh, before we went back, uh, we would be able to, or well, we could attempt to um, fetch some of the, uh, or recover some of the items that were taken, both personal, but also belonging to the the job we were doing, and that way uh, they're less likely to be upset when we arrive with half of the goods missing. Well, yes, but do you really want to take these guys here with us, or do you want to leave them here? We could just get them to town. It's not too much farther. Then we can go back out. I don't think they're in any shape to help us. No, um, they're not in any shape to help us. I was wondering shaped the carts back themselves. Uh, how many of them are still alive? Three. Um, and what about the carts? Uh, their iron fist? No, what I was saying is um, are these people going or have, are they going to recover enough to drive the carts back themselves? Uh, probably not. I mean, they're pretty, uh, they're just barely the ones that you've got that have a rose or in the condition that the uh, caravan captain was, you, you know, stable, barely lucid. And it looks like we're about four hours outside of Barbara. Uh, no, you're about, uh, you're about a good two hour uh, walk. Um, are the, my apologies for interrupting, however, are the carts themselves and the horses that draw them, are they in workable condition? Yes. All right. That at least is good. However, I believe I will be making sure I have all my armor and weapons on. We were given a job to do, and I personally do not feel quite right, quite right about leaving it half-baked. Unfortunately, uh, yeah, I'm in agreement that uh, I'm uh, loath to leave these people here behind when they can't even defend themselves. I think we probably so should... put them on the cart and then go after the rest of the stuff. Yeah. We don't know. We, we don't know how far they went, Mr. Balaman. Uh, agreed. We're two hours out of town, and I know we'd lose two hours, but it's probably well, our. We'd lose at four least hours. four hours because it's going to take us two hours to get there and then two hours back to here. Right. That's assuming that by the time we get back, we can still pick up the trail. But they're. I think their lives are worth more at this point than. I don't know. Oh, uh, very well. I guess that's the consensus. Buckberg, what do you think? Oh, Muck sometimes lose time. Uh, often when he eat mushroom. Not sure why. Otherwise, uh, fastest way is to walk. Otherwise, uh, mukbang don't move when sitting, typically. Sometime. Mm. I see. Uh, we we walk. Uh, you know where we are? 
Uh, I just see tree. And bodies. And stars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we know where we are, Michael. Oh, good. You know where we go? Uh, that's what we're trying to decide, whether we should go and get revenge and get our things back, or whether we should uh, take these injured people back to town, where they can uh, be properly looked after, and then we go and get our stuff back. Oh. Uh, uh. Uh, Mugbang really likes his jewels. And if people are bad, I, I, I can smash, and then we know carry. You want me to smash people? No, these people mm-hmm. here, who kind of points to the injured, barely yeah. conscious, the cool people. Uh, these people are good. Uh, other people that took your jewels, those are bad. Yeah, but if sleeping people won't wake up, uh, they slow us down. Mukbang can make them sleep forever. No, no. No, no. That will not be needed, Mukbang. Oh. But thank you. However, I do agree that we should get back your jewels. And my sense of pride and honor have both been injured as well. Yeah. Uh, you, uh, you mentioned cart? You want Mukbang put bodies on cart and carry? Only need one wheel to work. Well, we, we have several carts. And Mr. Muck, we got horses as well. We just need to decide whether we should, uh, eat them to town before we try to get your jewels back. Put sleepers on horse or cart. Uh, they sleep while we work. Yeah? Maybe they wake up while we go. Uh, and then more people to throw at bad guys. We could potentially attempt to bring them with us and mm. leave them as soon as we locate the individuals. Or throw them at individuals. If you are going to throw any muck, I I would suggest the ones that are not moving. Yeah, like the sleepy one. He's going to walk over to one of the people that are laying on the ground unconscious and just pat him on the face. Ugh! Wake up! You have work to do. (laughs) Uh, Delilah will just point to a dead one. (laughs) How about that one, muck? Uh, I don't think that one will wake up, but Muck will try. He just goes over to it. And... Wake up! The yeah, no, I don't do wake up. The not wake up will be easier to carry, I think. Oh. If you wish to throw an individual at someone. Oh, well, it's fair. Just pick up the body and chuck it over his shoulder and go to grab a second one and do the same. Muck All have right. fodder. <laughs> All right, what's the rest of y'all doing? Seeing this hulking carpet slapping unconscious and dead, <laughs> flipping him on his shoulder. The, the hobgoblin and the bugbear talking about using them as cannon fodder, so to say. Mm. Light them on fire, throw like cannon. <laughs> Uh, Mark, I don't know if we should be doing that. They have loved ones. Uh, not anymore. Uh, they did. True. Someone will kind of look to the uh, the I am this and say, "Is this the common way to treat your dead above the surface?" No, he's being very disrespectful to the dead. Uh, <laughs> oh. Mug, uh, just uh, put the dead bodies in, in, the, in this cart over there and let's put the live bodies in this cart over there, okay? And I'll sh- show you which ones are which. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. Uh, M- Muck, sorry. No disrespect. Usually just eats dead. 
thought maybe this time useful. Uh, muck bad. Mm. Just... There's no problem, Muck. Their sensibilities simply differ from those that we are used to. On that aside, however, I, I do apologize for having insulted them so. What's a sensibibibla? Sensibibla. They grew up among a different type of people that have different ways of viewing the world. Oh, like... Like when I see in the dark? Or yes. when, I, when, I, when I can't see because I lay on my tummy and forget to lift my head? Indeed. Sadly, not everyone can see in the dark and not everyone is facing upwards when they sleep. Yeah, like the dead one here. So, uh, what, what were your thoughts, Delilah? To go back or uh, go chasing these guys? I say that we pursue them. While well, there is a job to be done here, I do not think that this group is going to be moving anywhere for some time. They might need time to rest and recover. Uh, that aside, the individuals who did this to us will likely continue to do so again or might otherwise sell, dispatch of, or use the goods that they took. Therefore, we might have to take care of them before they create more victims and or um, get rid of our cargo. Charles. Yes. When people are tracking, normally they don't move at full speed. Is that a true statement? Uh, depends uh, on certain, uh, certain conditions. You can move at full speed, but there's uh, modifiers and um, and there again, uh, depends on your cl uh, class abilities also. But uh, well, I yeah, have, I have. In, in general, it's if you're looking to have the best situation, you you're usually moving about half speed. Okay, I have an idea. Um, I I actually have my own cart and horse, although it's a little small one. Um, we could tie these these uh, carts together. Um, you know, if the group wanted to use one, I'm sure that the uh, some of these people, and I look towards the dead bodies, wouldn't mind. Clean them down, I start uh, tracking. And once I get to town, I can start uh, doubling back with my uh, with my horse and cart, and I can probably catch up to you. Mm -mm. Is it a two-hour walk or is it a two-hour cart drive? Two-hour walk. So if we got oh. if we get the horses up and running, and we got the horses going, how long would that take? Well, say maybe an hour. An hour each way. Yep. Horses walk faster than most people. Is better plan than sitting. Speaking mm. of sitting, oh. he just sits down and holds his head. <laughs> Lila will come over and pat him on the head gently. Ow, 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 ow. will just retract her head. <laughs> Mr. Orsic, so would you suggest that maybe you and I del finish the delivery with these people and then you and I ride back while they pursue their, our adversaries? Yeah, that way the, the, the tracks will stay fresh and we'll, we'll, we'll only be apart maybe about two hours, give or take. What do you I think? I can't think of a good reason to say no. Let's <laughs> immediately kind of... split the party at level one. <laughs> well, yeah. he, he kind of eyes the hobgoblin and the bugbear who clearly like have an existing relationship. <laughs> <laughs> and goes, yeah, sure. I can't think of a good reason not to do that. I don't think we'll be gone that long and we'll try and hurry as quickly as we can. 
Um, are the horses in well enough condition to be able to dash? Yes. Okay. Then we'd probably be able to dash them there and then come back. That sounds like a plan to me. Let's uh, saddle them up. There, I believe there is one factor that you all might not be taking into account. Yeah. They didn't steal the horses. That is odd. And if they had horses, they could have a much faster getaway. So the fact that oh. they did not take ours or feel any need to kill ours that we could not keep up likely means that they have mouths of their own. It could do. On the other hand, it could be that they... Uh, horses are, especially if you're riding them quickly, uh, going to leave a much clearer trail to follow than people that know how to move through the forest. Uh, it could simply be that they didn't want to leave a trail for people to follow. Also, horses are assholes. They bite. <laughs> yeah, I've got to say, I haven't been on the surface long, but I'm not fond of these uh, horse creatures. Uh, they seem significantly less intelligent than dolphins. Yeah, Dolphin? I'm smarter than stupid horse. <laughs> uh, you're not smarter than my ass. Uh, Mukbang has met a few magical creatures, but never a talking ass. Oh my! Yeah. Uh, I, my ass doesn't talk. Well, this is uh, also going to. Uh, now you have. Mr. McBung, would you be willing to help me saddle up these horses? Oh, yeah. You see, I am much too short. Well. <laughs> Comes up to like five. <laughs> Muck, Muck stands up. You. You want me lift you, or saddle, or both? Uh, just the saddle is fine for now. Thank you. Okay. I'll go over and grab one of the saddles and toss it onto the horse. And instead of using the buckle system to keep it on, because he's a little dumb, he just forces it to tie into a knot, which the horse may or may not like. <laughs> give, give me an animal handling uh, jack with disadvantage. Okay. <laughs> As he's already claimed the horses do not like him, more or less. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, he said he didn't uh, like see animal handling. I don't. I don't have animal handling, but I know that you're not supposed to do that. I've been above ground for all of about three weeks, and I know you're not supposed to do that. Oh God! <laughs> if I could stop him, I mean. No, 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 you're not supposed to do that like that. I got a six. <laughs> oh, when you th when you throw the saddle up over the the back of the head of the horse to go and have it uh, on the back, part of the stirrup hits the horse in the back of the head and it bolts off towards the direction of Bardswood. No, 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 no. Uh, How many horses do we got? One less. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, counting yours? My mule. Uh, yeah, counting your mule. <laughs> yes? Oh, all right. And so uh, I was... I, mine, was a, mine, was a, mine was a question to you, to you if I was counting your mule in there or not. But if not counting the mule, you have two left. I, uh, I, see, I told you, horses assholes. Worst, <laughs> worst creature. Centaur, way better. Still, still asshole, but, but at least they talk. And they don't bite, usually. He's um, idly, idly touches a little bit of, of, his, of his face where there's some fur missing. <laughs> I'm sorry, what is a centaur? Uh, they're, 
Victor. Mm. So if you have a horse and uh, uh, a person and they really love each other, <laughs> they make a baby that is really awkward. Oh, so, hey, yeah. Charles. Yes. You said that this horse went uh, barreling towards Bardwood, correct? Correct. All right, let's get these two horses uh, linked up to one of these carts. Can we do that? Yeah, you can. Uh, you can attempt to. Okay, I'll, I'll move relatively slow. <laughs> and, and I'll I, try to. And, and I know that you're supposed to use the buckles. Aylin <laughs> is going to assist. Aylin's not very smart either, but she's pretty wise. So. <laughs> you want luck help? No, thank you, Mr. Muck. Oh. Um, uh, all right. Uh, hey, I Muck, got an if, idea. Uh, it may be a bad idea, but I got an idea. You want saddle Muck? Uh, want saddle yeah. what? Oh, Muck? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in the future. Um, if these horses go back to Bardwood... We can get them moving and let the cart do the work for us. And if they don't go back to the mm. Horses are typically trained to return to whatever location happens to be home that they're most familiar with. Uh, and, and if they wander off, more proof. Muck being right. <laughs> Sure. Uh, and if they get set up on my wall? But yeah, yeah, that's the thing that happens. Oh. I, well, I don't know. Uh, we're we're one hour at, at a at a reasonable pace, and we're probably half an hour at a fast pace. <laughs> away from uh, town. So let's let's get moving. Daylight's ticking. If, what are you talking about? Daylight just started. <laughs> if worried about wild animal, we, we can uh, we can take the weapons from the sleepers and tie them to the wheel of the cart. Uh, I saw it once. It was horrifying. Uh, I loved it. The one thing, the one thing that Mock would find strange is that. The only ones carrying weapons is Aelin, Palmon, Delilah the Wicked, Muckbung, and Iron Fist. The rest, the, the rest you would know were guild, uh, guild artisans, guild masters, traders. They may have had a fork and a knife to eat with, but no true weapon. A question of us, DM, if you do not mind. He said, no, you can ask me everything in the world. All right. Wonderful to know. So, am I to presume that attacks of wild animals would lessen the closer you get to town? In most cases, uh, yeah, because of human traffic and interaction and, and such. And perhaps since most creatures that attack they instead of being nocturnal, attacks are less likely in daylight? Well, generally, unless uh, there's a reason. All right. Like rabies. Yeah, yeah they, they come across the one rabid dog in the whole area. <laughs> well, that was a, a disease that in real life I could put out there that would explain like that. Other diseases, mythical, magical, could do the same. I happen to agree with the decision that we send them promptly, put them in the cart, scare the horses into heading back to town. The, a frightened horse will be gurgling at a running pace, so they should arrive in town in 30 minutes. Whereas we should probably get to tracking those who caused this before nightfall. Very good, then. Uh, yeah. 
I mean, this is uh, your world, as it were. I will bow to your experience. Well, I suppose if we're going to do that, Mr. Palamon, can you help me uh, saddle up these horses and bind them to the carriage? I think, yeah, I think we may have been doing that while we were talking. Oh, Did we fine. manage to get the job done, Charles? Yes. Okay. So all we got to do is uh, get them moving and go from there. That should be easy. Mr. Muck, can you scream at them, please? Oh, uh, the... The horses or the yes. bodies? <laughs> the horses. Ah. Hey! Assholes! Fuck off! Ah! Give me an <laughs> intimidation. Give me uh, an intimidation. I'll, I'll pat him on the ass as well, so make okay. it with advantage. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, yeah. thank you. What like? Uh, yeah, I don't know if you really want <laughs> that, but yeah, uh, give me an intimidation check with advantage. Please, go, please roll high. <laughs> Can I help by shouting with a, a war cry at them to give him an advantage? Uh, he, he has, he has advantage. Seven. Also, uh, never mind. You can also do that if you want. To. <laughs> I got a, I got a massive twelve. <laughs> oh my god! With advantage. <laughs> with advantage. All right. <laughs> um. They they start running on off towards towards town. Uh, they don't have a heart attack and drop dead in the spot. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that would have been terrible. No, that would have been funny. <laughs> true, yeah. true. <laughs> yeah, then we could have spent the next half an hour <laughs> in real life discussing what we were going to do. So oh, not, but that's uh, they're they're off back to town. So I'm running off towards town. You feel secure in that? Yeah. Um, Does so, anyone have any tracking skills? Uh, I prefer. Uh, yes, um, I do. Uh, I Ayla, think I wait. might have survival. Ayla is yeah. proficient in survival as well. Uh, you mean tracking skills here, right? <laughs> Um, on land, well, yes, we're on land, yes. Oh, so no. <laughs> so it sounds like Delilah and Aelin are, are are trackers then. I, I've got a massive plus four bonus. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> uh, I'm afraid that Sally Muck's nose is a little bit stronger than my own sense. <laughs> Muck smells. <laughs> so I can, who, roll. I can roll. All right. Well, whoever's rolling, you'll roll with advantage if the uh, the other is assisted. Um, what is? Uh, I is shall that assist. Muck. Based? Is that intelligence based? Uh, uh, survival. 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 Yes. Is, okay. Then I'll I'll roll with advantage then because I got a plus five to wisdom so. Oh, Damn. In total, this is a plus seven, so. Muck will help. He will sniff. <laughs> he just kind of falls down onto all fours and starts sniffing the dirt and walking around. I'm going to get on my cart and um, I will follow behind. All right. So. 24 with advantage. Uh, nice. Huge. Nice. Are having problems getting the sign. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. It's, there's things out there that are pretty stealthy. Um, but you do notice in the direction that the arrow is pointing that you see a set of cloven marks going in that way and a Boot mark, uh, a boot print going that way. Hey guys, I think I found something. Okay. Then... I will give it a look. <clears throat> okay. Um, so, and they're just continuing, the prints are continuing in that same direction. Uh, they go 
you see a couple strides and then you lose them. But so like kind of like they stepped in mud or something. Yeah, softer, loamy dirt or where where the the one hillside was and and like that, and then it kind of firmed up is what what you're seeing. Okay. But you got their general direction. Well, I suppose we go this way then. And she'll she'll just kind of start walking forward and like the tiniest person in the entire group just <laughs> goes on, doesn't isn't really doesn't seem too concerned. Cause she's she feels like she's in her like environment. She's used to being out in this kind of little areas. Buck is just following behind you, sniffing the ground on all fours. <laughs> <laughs> just a giant bear creature. <laughs> He's got long arms. He he can move pretty quick. <laughs> Palmon, roll me a d12. Oh, I do so love it when you have me do this. <laughs> Eleven. Oh, that sucks. And you've uh, got... I mean, if you'd like to tell me which number to roll to set up, get set up on my walls, I'll oh. be able to do that in the future. No, uh, I because uh, there's a number at both ends of the spectrum that uh, give effect. So um, uh, that keeps uh, that keeps me honest and keeps you honest. <laughs> as far as that, but your uh, your day goes through uneventful for the most part. And let's see here. Mr. Muck, will you carry me? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Muck has space right here. And he pats the, the lump behind <laughs> behind his head where his neck and shoulders meet. His good seat. He's only about 60 pounds, so it shouldn't be too much of a thing. <laughs> no. Uh, right. Set you up on his shoulders. <laughs> You're small. Hold tight. Muck still sniff. Who, who, did, who did the survival check? I did. Ayla did. All right. Do Ayla. it again. Do it again with advantage. Okay. I smell smells. I will trust in their expertise. I will keep an eye out on the horizon. All right. And it's getting uh, there. 25. All right. Well, you think you uh, see picked up some more of the sign, I think. Let me roll for them to see how well they do. Oh, yeah. You, uh, it seemed like they relaxed and weren't trying so hard. Uh, so you picked up a few more uh, signs of the of uh, the whole uh, the cloven hooves, uh, which uh, almost looks like a herd of goats may have went through here, and you see a couple of uh, soft boot prints. Uh, they're heading in the direction of the arrow, and it's five o'clock in the afternoon or early evening, however you want to put it. Uh, we should uh, start setting up camp if I understand the yes. That was the time thing. Uh, we got another good hour of light. Don't you want to travel just maybe a little bit more? No. Uh, apparently, I misjudged the situation. Uh, sure. How far are we from that thicker part of the? Basically, the next hexagon. Ah, uh, you're probably about uh, uh, maybe four or five hours, depending. All right. So, yeah, we could probably, like, once we see the next, like, because we're in foothills, right? We're not, like, super dense. We can see the change in landscape. Yes, you can. You see, in fact, uh, over here, you see this big mountain range 
up uh-huh. from where you're at on you know, from the aspect of the hill rolling hills that are here. Yeah. I say we get to the top of a hill and then we can make a camp up there. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, so we travel a little bit more and look for a good place to, to camp. Muck has thought. Uh, camp on high ground, good for seeing, also good for being seen. If you want fire, better to be in valley. Hmm. Do you want fire? Uh, crits, smoke and light. We if no fire, to... muck has fur, you can cuddle. <laughs> It was um, welcome opportunity. What season is it? Kind of it, matters, I guess. Well, up in I'm in the Isle and Isle of Ironwood. So picture in your mind about Ireland, mm-hmm. uh, climate, temperatures, and oh, it, well. <laughs> and it's. Uh, We'll, we'll say it's late spring. So it gets a little chilly at night. Well, yeah. no, it's only summer. Uh, yeah, but Ireland is not yeah. the only place in the world. <laughs> and in late spring, I can always guarantee it's going to rain. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, on the other hand, uh, Palamon doesn't care about either of those things. Uh, between his <laughs> resistance to cold damage and being from underwater, I imagine that this is uh, probably the reason he's in this area. Is this is quite a nice climate thing? So I say uh, we travel an hour. We'll find a valley to where we can have a small fire tonight. Yes, I. I, I uh, we probably all have rations and stuff, right? I don't need to search for stuff. Right. <sighs> Muck, very good at finding things to eat and uh, all around him. Uh, uh, if you don't mind, grubs and mushrooms. <laughs> the, if you put them in a soup uh, and throw in a rock for seasoning, it's very, very good. So, Charles, um, with my uh, background, I have the wanderer ability, and I can find <laughs> food and water for five people. Same. <laughs> as as there's like berries and small game in the area. Yeah, all right. Uh, you can fi- you'll you'll find. Uh, uh, My intent is to catch like a uh, some at least some small game for Muck because she would think that he eats meat a lot mostly, <laughs> and then just anything else that she thinks is edible. Uh, you'll find you'll find some uh, good good size uh, field rats. And uh, you'll be able to f- find a rabbit or two that you could catch in a snare or, or however you want to catch Yeah, them. I have a hunting. It just says hunting trap, so I don't know what that was supposed to be. But yeah, it it'd be, be like a snare. Okay. Uh, so she'll come back with the food and she's like, Mr. Muck, I think you would like these, yes? And she holds up the rats or the uh, rabbits. Well, and the rats, I guess. Oh, their bones very soft, easy to crunch. Do you want a rat or a rabbit? Muck will eat either. Do you want me to cook it first? Uh, if you singe off fur, m- muck poo better. <laughs> I'll I'll go ahead and cook them. <laughs> oh, thank you. All righty. <laughs> what what's the rest of y'all doing? Uh, pulling out some dried fish because uh, stuff is got a few days. Okay, he doesn't want to eat the rats. <laughs> uh, no, funnily enough, he doesn't. <laughs> Weird that. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I. I believe I will be making sure that we have an appropriate camping location, if possible. 
Uh, the, over there where I placed the uh, yellow uh, circle is the valley that you found that's about an hour away from where, uh, where last time and uh, that looks a suitable, almost like there's a pa uh, pass, a big valley with a uh, that makes a natural pass going uh, from here to there. Does it look like this place might get flooded if it rains? I'm not that worried about that personally. But you don't see you don't see anything that stands out that would tell you that. Okay. Ultimately, I'm going to uh, take care of my ass. Okay. How are you taking care of uh, your um, <laughs> your meal? Um, well, gonna unhitch it and uh, comb it out, make sure okay. that it doesn't have any wires, and see if the, if I can find any. Uh, particularly if there's clover, it's a it's a field of mixed uh, grass and fescues. Uh, there might be some clover, Timothy. I let them. Um, uh, I let them nibble. Okay, um, give me an animal handling. With advantage. Uh, what just happened? I don't know. Ah, they're well, fifteen. Okay. Um, he is. You would tell that he he's really appreciate and uh, seem to be appreciating. Uh, the comb and uh, the currying that you're doing and uh, and such and and providing a good uh, a, a good meal for him and he's getting back his strength and vigor. Um, I'll put him on a long uh, long leash with my rope, but I'll, oh. ultimately he's going to be tied. Okay. Uh, what what are you tying him to? Um, well, really, the only thing I have is a cart. I mean, tree? Is there, yeah, that's a good question. Are there any trees? Um, really, uh, there's not a lot of trees. There are some here and there. Uh, there's uh, low uh, uh, shrub, uh, shrub rushes like juniper and such. Hmm. Well, as long as he doesn't get spooked, I can probably just tie him around the scrub brush then. You want luck health? What's your, what are you thinking? He's thinking about eating them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I wasn't the only one thinking that. Yeah. Well, you were going to tie him. Uh... Muck is strong, boy. He can tie well. Well, at least tight. You mean tie the rope? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Muck like knots. <laughs> he goes over and just starts knotting that rope around and around. And around. Around what, we're, though? We're everything. <laughs> Just big rocks. <laughs> Scrub brush himself. <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> Delilah will help in stopping him from doing that last bit, especially. Um, uh, you uh, have, are doing an excellent job. I think you have done more than enough. Uh, and... Can she just kind of tug on it to check the integrity of the knot? Uh, give me a sleight of hand, uh, and this is for muck bug, uh, a, a sleight of hand uh, uh, modified. Well, it's they don't make any difference. Sleight of, sleight of hand, they're both deck, uh, dexterity. Based. Great. I pull up stats. Oh, nice. 
Uh, that is a nat 20. <laughs> okay, what's your dex modifier to add on to it? Uh, so be 23 total. Okay. Um, Delilah, you you uh, look I at the knot, knot and uh, you think that it's a pretty well done knot. All right. Yes, muck, quite well indeed. Like and the muck is very good at them. <laughs> he gets distracted and starts to tie another one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's enough muck, okay? Oh. Oh, sorry. You did very well. M Mux going to go find the uh, side dishes. He just disappears into the brush, sniffing the ground. Now you you did tie it around you, right? And uh, not. I do believe at least two of us uh, went to stop him on oh, that part. Okay, okay. I'm just trying to clarify so I know exactly what might. Yeah, I wanted to stop him doing that too. <laughs> uh, Callum tugs was, the ass uh, off into the distance. Callum kind of watched him do this and then very explicitly didn't stop him because uh, he was interested to see what would happen. <laughs> All right. Uh, call it an experiment, if you will. Um, hang on one second. I think I'm going to do something. Um, What's the limit on this? Uh, okay, that's not helpful. Thank you. 15 survival check for finding favorite mushrooms. <laughs> well, oh, yeah, I, you, you, I don't dare say that you found your favorite mushroom. Um, but, uh, you found some mushrooms and some uh, berries. Oh, I bring back side dish. Not enough to make mushroom surprise favorite stew, but uh, good. Uh, cook them. I will mash berries. Make sauce. He just sets the mushrooms down by the fire and then takes the berries and just starts... All right. <laughs> um, Aelin will speak telepathically to um, Muck and say, Muck, you, uh, Muck, I got your rabbit here for you. But I don't know if he'd be able to tell the difference because <laughs> it would just be her voice. Ah, 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 who in it? Who in Muckhead? And then she'll say aloud, Muck, right here. Huh? <laughs> Oh, I, 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 muck heard voices. Must have hit head hard. <laughs> oh, here is berry mash. His hands are just slicked with berries. <laughs> They've been smashed for you. She just puts the uh, rabbit into your hands of berry mash. <laughs> uh, hey, just... Mr. Muck, are you going to be eating those bones? Uh, usually. Uh, can you, you want them? No, you can eat them, but can you not be uh, right here, please? Make me sick, the noise does. Oh, okay. You see his ears fall and his head just kind of leans in. He's clearly crestfallen. And he wanders over to the ass. <laughs> Do you like crunchies? <laughs> the meal just looks up at you. I take that as yes. And he just nah, and shoves the whole thing into his mouth, <laughs> scraping the berries off of his palms onto his, <laughs> his incisors and just starts crunching away. <laughs> Do you guys want anything? I know we have our rations, but nothing wrong with some uh, fresh cooked meat. Oh, yeah. Uh, we should discuss having a watch at night. Uh, an excellent plan, I think. Uh, are, you, are we thinking maybe three watches at three hours apiece? Three, six, nine, nine hours? Uh, 
so yeah, well, uh, go, while you're setting that up, go ahead and uh, roll and give me your initiative. Oh, <laughs> all, all, all of you. I'm just getting this ahead of time since you're all in the mood for getting things planned. Oh, 23. Damn. God damn it. 22. Oh. 21. Also 23. 21. Damn. We all rolled. I initiative. think we've decided that your guys aren't going first, uh, Charlie. Well, uh, yeah, it, uh, well, they may get something, but uh, yeah, uh, let's see here. Uh, we took a group uh, group uh, vote and uh, <laughs> we decided we want to go through it. All right, and 20. Uh, Delilah, did you roll? 21 was Mock, right? I have not. Uh, 23. 21 was Aelin. Okay, Aelin. And... Okay. The Lila did not roll good. <laughs> what did the Lila roll? The Lila rolled a whopping total of nine. Oh, great. Well, everybody will go for it. <laughs> All right. When the time comes, <clears throat> I got it. So, they have been uh, dizzy all day. Can, can everybody see it in the dark? Uh, uh, yes, of course. Uh, yeah. No, I cannot. Uh, you should not watch. It would be very hard. Well, you could with a light, but that tends to also give away your location to anything that can see in the dark. The muck can't see in the dark? Oh, muck can see in dark. Aelin can't see in the dark. Oh, Aelin. Um... Little one should nestle by fire and sleep. Good one. Well, you are having a fire, though, right? Yeah, it's going to burn down at nighttime, though. Uh, I'm willing to take uh, either first or third. Uh, yeah, both can take anything. It doesn't bother me. Um... Can. Wait, there are four of us that can see in the dark, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, would we be better doing four watches of two hours? That would uh, cut our rest down by an hour and get us an extra hour of travel. That'd make more sense, I guess. Then everybody would get, in theory. Sure. Then you get six hours of sleep that <clears throat> you just need to get uh, rest. Um, well, I believe we've already started downtime. Part of the eight hours, I mean, for sure. But like, you have to have six hours of sleep, so yeah. It depends on how long a long rest is. Uh, we're well, not going to get a long rest. A long rest is three three days, and not safety is three days. So we're, we're going to get a short rest overnight. Uh, we we don't have a way. Like, if we had somebody at a higher level that could cast Liam's tiny hut, we can get a long rest in the forest. But yeah. We have to be completely safe in order to okay. get a long rest. Not rules I'm used to, but... Uh, yeah, these are no, the pretty realism a... rules from the DMG. It's an optional... Uh... It's a variant in the book. Well, almost a variant in the book. The book is actually more harsh than, uh, yeah. than this. But it makes it more, uh, a little bit yeah, more challenging good. when you're traveling. <clears throat> gotcha. It's more interesting. New and different. different doesn't mean bad. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if it came across that way. <laughs> no, uh, it, it didn't. The only thing I was going to say is you probably didn't get a chance to read the material I sent you. That's all. That is uh, likely true. Because it was in there. Oh yeah, no. She, uh, what? I, I read it. I, I didn't pass it on. I'm sorry. No, I'm just, I'm just oh. saying. That's uh, so. It's totally understandable, and mm -hmm. it's, uh, no harm, no foul. And it really, at this juncture, you haven't spent too many resources, so it's not like it's impactful as that as much as that could be. 
Uh, wait. So I'm just gonna. What is new money gonna say? Well, let's see here. Who's Palanime? It's supposed to be Palamine. Oh. Sorry. And you forgot Aelin. Well, that's easy enough to do. <laughs> You're on last watch when it gets, when it's uh, just turning light. All right, that makes sense to me. Uh, Aelin will try to find like a lower tree branch and just find something that to sleep in, I guess. Yeah, you can find a, a, a real old tree uh, branch. Uh, there's a juniper bush that's uh, there that give you a branch that's about a foot and a half off the ground. Okay. Will it support her weight? We're in the foothills. There's, there's yeah. not much here. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, it, it'll keep you off the ground and uh, make you somewhat comfortable. Okay. And first watch. Who do I have for first watch? Iron it's, Fist. Yeah, roll me a D12, Iron Fist. Ha ha. An eight. And your shift goes quietly. <laughs> Second shift is uh, Mukbang, correct? Yes. Roll me a d12. So you're going to have us roll four times? Yeah, somewhat like that. You said a d12? Yep. Uh, five. All right, your shift goes quiet. Mm. Palomar. Probably a D. All right. Let's try this again. A two. Ooh, a two. All right. Roll me a perception check. 24 with a natural 20. All right. Let me see here. Um, and you think you saw a couple shadows out along the um, edge of the camp, about 30 feet out. Uh, okay. Uh, he will... I just want to handle this. Uh, he is going to kind of uh, almost pretend like he hasn't noticed. Um, but kind of uh, quietly nudge the person closest to him awake. All right. Give me a deception check. Crap, charisma, my wheel. Ooh, 23. All right. And so they'll, pro they'll probably buy that. That's a pretty good one. Let's see what their insight is. 24. Oh, insight, insight. Okay. Not good enough. All right. So you're, you're nudging who, uh, whoever you are nudging. You tell me. Uh, well, the next watch would probably, be. Yeah, it's, it's whoever he was closest to. So I'm guessing. Uh, let me roll for it because uh, we didn't. We don't have a. All right, uh, Iron Fist. Okay. Like without actually having minis on a map and a camp set up, uh, it's difficult to to say exactly who they've been next to. But Iron Fist seems reasonable. Any of them do. Well, we could arrange. You know, we could arrange that, but uh... Uh, yeah, it's just a lot of effort. Uh, but I say it's Iron Fist, so Iron Fist it is. So you woke me up. Uh, yeah, he, he kind of wakes you up, puts a finger to his lip, um, and then points out into the kind of at the shadows. 
um, as you see him kind of slip his arm into his shield, um, seemingly ready for something. All right. Um, I will go over and um, push Mungbug. I think trouble's coming. Oh. Mm. Uh, he's going to roll over uh, with a surprising amount of dexterity for a man his size, or a bugbear his size, and uh, grab his maul and then try to stealth. Good gods. And then um... uh, give me a stealth check. Uh, 16. You think you're okay. <laughs> I'm going to perceive myself. Perceive. 14. Okay. What are you trying to perceive? Well, do I see any shadows like uh, Palamon and no. No, you don't see the shadows that uh, Palamon uh, was talking about. Hmm. Okay, let's see here. Move over to um okay pal palmon but does a seven hit you no <laughs> out from the corner of your eye you see this dagger from the darkness come flinging towards you and miss you. <clears throat> uh, great. So I dot in that direction. All right. And we'll go from the top of the order then. Yep. Uh, uh, at this point. And there would be Iron, Fisk, and uh, did Iron Fisk or anybody wake Mukbung? Yeah, Mukbung's already awake. Hey, okay. I, uh, I rolled the, the stealth. Aelin's asleep, and so is Delilah. Yeah. Well, it's, uh, Ladies just... are helpless. No, they're not. <laughs> not for long. <laughs> but, uh, all right. Um, iron um, fist. As my, uh, as my free action, I'm going to kick Aelin. Okay. I'm in a free. <laughs> oh, then I'm going to kick Delilah then. All right. But somebody's getting kicked. <laughs> <laughs> um. But basically, I want to head out in the direction that the dagger came from. All right, give me a perception check to see if you see the dagger from where it came from. Uh, where is it? Uh, perception. Ah, roll the twenty. Yeah. Okay, you can. Uh, you, you can go in that general direction, no problem. Um, as far as that, uh, it looks like it's about uh, 30 feet away. So I, I can move 30 feet. Yep. Uh, do I see or notice anything? Um, you see a black cloven hoof uh, shadow looking thing standing there. And how far away from me is it? He is five, uh, within five feet of you. Oh, perfect. Well, uh, imagining that, oh, I'm sorry. I can only move 25 feet. 
Is it still within five feet of me? Yeah. Okay. Um, so ultimately, uh, I'm running out there. Uh, I see this uh, this beastie, and um, I. It's a small. My... It's a small beastie, but yeah, it's a beastie. Okay. Uh, I pull my hand axe. I'm going to chop at it with a eleven, and then I'm going to kick it. All right. The eleven misses with the thirteen. And the 13 misses. Okay. I'm done. Mm. Uh, right. So Mukbang is uh, has scampered into the bushes uh, after being woken. I got so one. I, <laughs> oh. uh, can I see um, what Orsic is seeing? Iron Fist. Give me a perception check. Okay. Uh, Jesus Christ. Probably not. Um, let's see. I've got a passive 14. <laughs> um, rolled, I've got six. No, you don't. You just see uh, or you perceive between sound and what sight uh, the arms and feet of Iron Fist moving about. You don't see it hitting anything or, or what it's hitting or it's striking at. Almost like he had a bunch of fire ants run up his leg, you might think. <laughs> Bugs are terrible. That's why I'm Buck Bear. <laughs> so what else are you doing, Mock Bong? Um, I am going to use my turn to move around the camp uh, in the opposite side of uh, the direction Iron Fist went to make sure we're not being flanked. I'll just be looking around. All right. And I love that you did that. Does a 17 hit you? Oh, yeah. All right. Take five points of piercing uh, da damage. Damn. Uh, oh. Would he uh, cry, make any sort of noise that would make wake up Aelin? I don't know. Uh, you asked me. Oh. All right. There's a chance. Give me a constitution uh, saving throw, and we'll see if it... I tried to kick you, but you were in a, in a tree. <laughs> he was only in a bush, really, a uh, foot and a half off the ground, I said. But <laughs> seven. Uh, seven. Uh, you're sleeping still. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it, did, it wasn't loud enough. To, it did, evidently didn't ra uh, raise you as far as that. So that's uh, Mukbang activities and such. Uh, Palamon. Uh, Palamon hearing Mukbang uh, kind of cry out in, in pain is going to run uh, over to where Mukbang is. Uh, very purposely uh, running kind of through this bush or, you know, close enough to this tree branch that I'll... Uh, I apologize, I've forgotten your character's name. That's uh, very rude. Uh, yeah, the Alan, Alan. The Alan is Alan. Uh, sleeping in and kind of knock him off of the tree as he as he runs past. All right, that's all uh, good. With an object interaction there. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, run over to where Mukbang is. Uh, can I see what stabbed him? Uh, give me a perception check. <laughs> can Mukbang see what stabbed him? <laughs> uh, 21. 20, uh, 21? Yeah. Uh, you see the shadowy figure. Uh, you see a black dagger in Mukbang's side on his thigh. 
Uh, great. I'm going to go ahead and use a bonus action to cast Divine Favor. Oh, okay. And then I'm going to stab this thing with my trident. You're going to try. I am. Does a... I've got no idea what my modifier is. <laughs> You're going to try. That's the kind of thing that I uh, should probably know. All right. Uh, so we have a 15 on the dice for a 21 total. All right. That hits. Nice. Yeah, unfortunately, tridents don't deal great amounts of damage. Uh, but uh, we <clears throat> have here uh, 10 points of piercing damage and 4 points of radiant damage. All right. Muckbone and Palamon, give me uh -oh. a constitution saving throw. Oh, this seems bad. Right. <laughs> right. This sounds off. <laughs> uh, 15. All right. Uh, Constitution plus four. 18. All right. As Palmon hit and pierced the body, or what seems to be the body, a light flashes out for a 10 foot radius as it's presumable body and possessions explode in a blast of light, bright light. Oh. That's one down. <laughs> that got one. That, <sighs> yep. Budge. Strange surface darling creatures that explode in light, but I got it. <laughs> Stupid land creatures. Uh, yep, that's everything. All right. Al uh, Aylin. Oh, what the? Uh, she'll kind of like, she'll spend half of her movement probably getting off the ground. Okay. Um, and then at some point during that, the Right of flashlight, you probably see that a little bit. Like, oh, what the? Um, so take a quick look around, but she can't really see anything besides that one blast of flash bright light. I'm assuming it's really dark out still. Yeah. Uh, she's gonna go to the campfire, and she's going to, as her action, she's gonna try to. She's gonna throw some paper in there, throw some wood on there, try to make a the fire. Oh, okay. Resume. If there's any holes left. Alrighty. And uh, let's see here. Does a 18 hit you? Uh, it matches my armor class, so I think so. Yep. Okay. It hits you. Take five points of piercing damage, and there's a little black dagger sitting in your shoulder. Yes. And then let's see here. Does a seventeen hit? No. Delilah. No. Does a seventeen hit me? You're still laying down, aren't you? I would assume that if I am asleep, oh. I took off my armor. Roll with advantage, please. Yeah. Uh, that's what I was, the one you said she was laying on down, but okay. But still, uh, does a 15 hit Delilah? I, hold on. I took off my armor because I was sleeping, yeah? Uh, you tell me. Probably not the same. We were likely to get attacked and it was a short rest, not a long rest. So oh, either yeah. way, it hits though. Okay. Five points of uh, piercing damage. Uh, a black dagger is sticking in your uh, foreleg thigh, upper thigh. And that was one destroyed. One, one, yeah. one more. And oh, does a 14 hit Iron Fist? No. Okay. You 
you have a dagger that comes flying past your uh, um, nose and cuts just a little bit of your beard. <laughs> Not my beard. Just a little bit. Just a hair or two. <laughs> a dirty dog. That's right. Delilah. I have been kicked and I have been stabbed in the thigh. Safe to say I, awake. Um, I, I believe I should be awake at this point. Yes. yes. I have a question real quick. Yes. Uh, so did was me making the fire, did it make it any brighter around the area? Or did that oh, yeah. Yeah, it, it did. Okay. So I can see Elise a little bit now. Yeah. And they can all see much better. Yep. Wow, go ahead, Delilah. Yes, um, which happens to be nearest to me? Uh, or can I see any of them? Give me a perception check. All right. Not as a nut 20. All right. And yes, at about 20 feet off to the one side of you, off out into the darkness of the camp, you see a dark, small figure. All right. I'm going to leap upwards. And are any of my are any of my allies here are in the way of this figure? Uh, no. All right. And let's see here. I'll stop the share. We don't need that right now. And I... Is the figure within 120 feet? Yeah, he's only 20 feet from me. All right. I would like to Eldritch Blast his face. <laughs> okay. Roll the hit. Very specifically, his face. <laughs> yes. I will roll the same dice since it rolled good. <laughs> uh, where the heck did I? Yeah. Uh, not good, but not bad. That's going to be actually at 14 plus 5, so 19. Does a 19 hit? Yes, it does. Excellent. I'd like to take a free action to clap excitedly, oh, like okay. a child. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Shiny. And then I will stand up, brush off my armor, and simply state, that is why you do not wake up a woman in the morning. Um, that will be oh, nine damage. Right. Nine? Okay. Four right. damage. Okay. Uh, and that brings us back up to Iron Fist. All right. Well, again, I'm going to be swinging my hand axe at him. Oh, God. Uh, and this time I'm going to try and stomp on his foot. <laughs> and I think I'm going to miss both times. What, what class is your is your part? Well, uh, it's, it's, it's a dice roller. I rolled a seven and an eight. Yeah, you missed. And the uh, the smaller one here. Let's see here. Right here. That's what you're seeing. And I'm gonna say, uh, I got a. I got a Riley one over here. <laughs> All right. Is that it for Iron Fist? That's it for Iron Fist. That's all I can do. Okay. It's uh, more like Paper Fist, but uh, Mukbang. <laughs> <laughs> so Mukbang does have dark vision to 60 feet. Okay. Uh, does that help him to see any of them? Well, it's also brighter out now. Well, 
Yeah, a little bit, but the uh, you still you would still have to do a perception check. Okay. Uh, so they're not, so they're not um, rolling all that great. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're not. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm saying them because they're they're stealth and uh, eighteen perception. Yep, you see it. Okay. All right, thirty foot movement speed. Am I close enough to reach one? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, Muck is very unhappy. He, he ignores the dagger in his leg, charges up to one of these little things, and tries to punt it with his maul. Okay, roll the hit. Oh, nat twenty. Uh, roll me percentage dice. Uh, Just this is would be 60. 60. Okay. 60, 60. Roll me a D4. Two. Okay. Now roll me your crit damage. Okay. Is being. Double dice. Yep. That'll be 14 plus 3, so 17. Okay. Roll me a constitution saving throw. Oh. And there's a bright light that explodes. Four. Uh, 15, con save. All right. And... Ha, 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 ha. Tiny. Hello. Oh, yes, it's my turn. Yes, I definitely know how D&D &D works. Okay. Um... <laughs> So what are you doing? I don't know, but I heard a lot. <laughs> um, I knew what I was going to do, and then I got really distracted. <laughs> um, Shinies are very distracting. Kind of looking around. Um, he'll call over to uh, Iron Fist and say, uh, did you need help with that, or do you got this? He He's pretty good at dodging. Uh, great. Uh, Palamon kind of reaches uh, over his shoulder and pulls out a slightly different trident. It's less uh, ornate than the one that he's been using to stab things with. Um, more of just a standard everyday run-of-the-mill trident. As far as you get run-of-the-mill trident. Um, and then I should look up the range on these. Let's see here. Uh, he'll move so that he's within 20 feet of the one by uh, Iron Fist. Oh, all right. And then throw this trident at it. Okay, roll a hit. All right, natural 20. Roll me percentage dice. Uh, we have a, I definitely know how percentage dice work. Um, I either have a zero or a 100. I'm not entirely certain how these things work. I said I know how they work, and then I, I, I don't know how they work. If you have a 10, it's a 100. <laughs> huh? If you have a 10 and a zero, it's a 100. Well, yeah. right, then yes, 100. All right. Um, you uh, roll up your damage and uh, you have this um, tried stuck in its forehead <laughs> and so it's just um, how far away did you say you were again? Uh, 20 feet. All right. 
and you see this blast of light. Uh, this but, is uh, big damage as well. But it was the one that was on Iron Fist. Iron Fist. Yeah. So Iron Fist, give me a constitution saving throw. A 20. All right, you're good to go. Uh, so damage here is uh, 11 and 4 is 15 points of piercing right. and 7 points of radiant. All right. And he is gone. And there's one injured one that you know that is around there. Uh, he kind of calls, uh, she's not that great, but dodging. But... <laughs> I was distracting them. <laughs> uh, in which case, I thank you for your assistance. Okay, Alan, you have you have a injured one in front of you. How like melee range, or do I need to go to it? Well, uh, you can either run away from it or go to it. It's oh, in, I'll be going to it. It's in it's in range. It's in its range for you, but <laughs> am I in melee range? No. I would like to go to melee. Is it within 25 feet of me? Yes, it is. Okay, then I will. Hey, you All bastard. All right. Wield their staff and try to beat them with it. What? What are you going to try to beat them with? The staff, her staff, her cord. Okay, roll a hit. <sighs> That plus dex and proficiency to 11. You miss. <laughs> Get back here. <laughs> That's it for you. Aeon. That all you're doing? Yeah. Okay. And let's see here. Will strike out at you and 18 hit you again. Good lord, <laughs> 18 would prevent me from getting it, but apparently not. Yes, it hits me. Okay, well, you ran up to him. Oh, well, yeah, I just thought I'd be able to dodge something. Wow, uh, five points of piercing damage. I'm down. Oh, little one. <laughs> Did we just leave the lose the cleric? I don't I'm know. not sure oh, what class. The monk. <laughs> All right, and Delilah, you see oh, this short little thing standing over top of poor little Miss Aylan with a bloody dagger. And it's Paul. Right. Um, uh, by the way, last round, um, I, I wrote it in, in chat, but does Paul. magic still work the same as vanilla 5e? Yeah. Okay. So I had a bonus action For... too. Okay. What do you mean? What was your bonus action? Well, it probably would have been to cast Hex on the next closest goblin. Oh. All right, we'll say you got Hex on, on him. That's too easy. Okay. And that aside, that one is Hexed. Uh, so. What did you Hex on it? Let's go with... You gonna go with strength, charisma? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Make it ugly. The stealth. Uh, basically, I yeah, I deal an extra one d six necrotic damage whenever I attack that particular target. But you All also right. get to give it disadvantage on. Um, yes. 
um, ability checks using a certain stat. Yeah, that's what I was asking about, whether it was a charisma stat, uh, strength stat, deck stat, that you're hexing. You want to make them bad. Right. Um, they are stabbing people with daggers. Yep. That is normally a quick attack. I'm going to try to slow them down. Let's go for dexterity. Okay. And <clears throat> you're going to hit or do what? And that I believe I'm going to attempt to I do not have much health, but if there's a person with a dagger over an unconscious individual, I should probably blast them away from that individual, I think. If Make I... fireworks. Big boom. <laughs> and friends, how far away is how far away is Aelin and the person above her? Um the the little uh, creature that's above her is if you're standing on somebody's chest distance uh, I will say no more than two feet. No, no. From her, I think she meant. Oh, from her? Yes. Uh, we'll say uh, 20 feet. Okay, so I can get there within a round of movement. Okay. Okay, one second. This is a new class for me, so yep. let's go. No problem. Ahead. We're all easy here. Muck very easy. Likes pudding and pets. <laughs> and cod pieces. And cod okay. pieces. Favorite cod piece. Filled cod piece with pudding. <laughs> what? I believe I will be using a class ability to place a Hexblade's curse on that particular goblin. Okay. Also a bonus action. So you got a conflict. Um, the last time was a bonus action from the prior round. Okay. Because I did not utilize it. But uh, you're going to strike this beastie, right? Yes. I'm going to place Hexblade's Curse, and then I will strike at it. Okay. Roll it. I will run at it. Strike at it. Or whatever that you're doing. I can't believe he's just on me. You didn't even wake up. You just died. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up with the fire died. That's it. I think I have the highest armor class here, and I still don't that knocked out. Could help, though, if I have an 18. Delilah, your attack? Okay, I know. I'm about to you have, you, equipped you, that. You, okay. <laughs> there we go. That's not the best. I'm probably going to have to just Eldritch Blast it. Our luck's good for Well, I don't get like all the cool blade stuff yet. Yet. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We're level one. <laughs> yep. So blast awake, I guess. <laughs> yeah. What? Oh, roll the hit. All right. Not as good as last time. That is going to be a thirteen to hit. I'm afraid. Ah, you miss. <laughs> but hold on, hold on. That's ability check, not AC. So, yeah. Okay, yeah, it's a mess. All right, I'll just use my movement to run over then. Okay. And that brings us up to the top. Iron Fist. You see this blast of light behind you. You, uh, it lights up. It goes off into the off into the mountain, the hills, 
in the, the night. Uh, you, you've seen pops of uh, fl bright flashes of light around. It's your go. Am I aware of our Say what? Am I aware that Aelin has fallen to the ground? What's your passive uh, perception? 14. 13? I'll say yeah. Well, 13, sorry. I'll still give it to you, yeah. Um, and I saw Delilah running off in that direction as well. Yep. Um, I'm imagining I'm farther than 25 feet away, though. No, you're probably about 25 feet. Okay. Well, that's easy then. I'm going to run over to this guy who is standing close to my friend with a dagger dripping blood, and I'm going to try and hit him with a uh, hand axe. Yeah. And I'm going to headbutt him. Ah, I rolled an 18 on the headbutt. That hits. Nice. For a whopping five points. Give me a constitution saving throw, uh, Iron Fist, and Delilah. Since uh, Aelin is down, she don't need to make it. Aelin 11. Okay. Delilah? Constitution? Yep. Uh -huh. Okay. Not the best. That's a total of 10. Oh, that was just good enough. So you're not, you guys aren't blinded. And there we are there. And then Muck Bung. Are there, um, can I see any others around? Not that you notice. Hmm. So we've killed three. No, actually four. Four. Yeah, this last one was killed. Oh, with the headbutt. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. I'm pretty sure I counted five attacks. I'm gonna uh, look around and see if I can spot another one. Pretty yeah. sure I counted five knife throws. Now give I'm paranoid. Me, give me a perception check. Perception plus four, so it's going to be an 18. You do not see it. Hmm. All right. Um, forgive me, because I don't know off the top of my head. That's um, all right. We're... Can I do a, a, a... Can I run over and do a stabilize on Aelin? Yeah. Uh, how, explain to me how you're going to stabilize Aelin. Oh, uh, muck is familiar with uh, things being stuck in muck. He just comes over and uh, leave dagger, but put pressure. So he sticks his hands on either side and just pushes oh, down. I, and thought holds. I thought you were going to go ahead and put pressure on the top of the dagger. <laughs> He's not that stupid. <laughs> well, you've been playing him, kind of. Uh, so He's, got, He's got. He's got. He's got decent wisdom. He's just very, I had to, very I had, I just had to grasp for that one. <laughs> as as far as that, so uh, yeah. Give me a medicine check. Okay. Oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> I may, I may have pushed down on the top of the dagger. <laughs> it's a six. Ooh. <laughs> you didn't push down, but you pushed to one side. So it, it really, you haven't helped. You may have made it just a little bit worse, but. Oh, God. Auto death sale. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Palamon. You hear her groan a little bit. <laughs> Uh, so I want to have a quick look around to see if you can uh, spot any other enemies. All right. Give me a perception check. Uh, 20. 20, huh? Nice. And your vision is at 60 feet, right? 
Correct. All right. You think you might see something out there. Great. He uh, shouts but out. It, uh, but it's right at that edge of your vision. Cool. Uh, he's going to call out, I think there's one over there. And then he runs over to Aelin and uses the remaining nine points of Lay on Hands. Okay. And <sighs> he, he kind of uh, runs over, grabs hold of the dagger, uh, pulls it out, and then immediately places his hand over it, and his hand kind of glows. And uh, the wound seals, and you get nine points, uh, nine hit points. Okay. <sighs> Aelin. Uh, she sits up sits upright and will spend half her movement standing back up. Okay. Oh, I feel right, right as right as well. Because You're welcome. Muck push on wound. <laughs> yes, well, thank you. Uh, did you say there's another uh, one, Mr. Uh, Palamon? Yeah, but it's at least 60 feet away and uh, you're in no condition to be chasing it down. Ah, I feel it is a fiddle. But uh, I'm not going to be doing that anyways. And well, my magic is pretty good, so maybe you're fine. I mean, uh, Mukbang did an excellent job of healing you. But yes, that's definitely mm -hmm. what happened. And, and all of you are in darkness. And you hear, hear a voice. We will get you. And then it goes quiet. As in magical darkness, or...? Yes. Dark, as far as you know, darkness, darkness. Your dark vision can't see through it. Yep. Mm. Which that's is odd, really which for all you that are used to dark vision, that's odd. Yeah, no kidding. Mm. Uh, I don't know where you are, but you want, you come. Come get. You get fucked. Come. Let's uh, let's get out of the darkness, friends. I agree that would be a good course of action. And this was rather disconcerting. Uh, Aileen, can you... Oh, wait. Yeah, I healed you. Never mind. I mean, Mukbang healed you. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Mukbang magnificent healer. Uh, yes, from now on we shall call you uh, Mukbang, the Magnificent Medicine Man. Yeah. That's a lot of words. Uh, yes, and they'll start with them. Now, come along. Uh, he'll kind of uh, start moving out of the darkness. And you guys are out of initiative. Cool. All right. Delilah will check on both Muckabane and Aelin, despite the fact that I assume there's still a dagger in her thigh. Yep. If you didn't remove it, it's oh. all there. Uh, it'll gush too much if I remove it right away, so... Alright, who's her? Uh, Leela, you got same as me. Look. He points <laughs> at the dagger in his thigh. We twinsies. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, indeed, we are. Let's see. Uh, I interest. Uh, did you get stabbed? Me? No, Iron Fist. Iron Fist. Was it? I don't think he did, actually. No, I don't think he got hit by anything. His beard got trimmed. Yeah. yeah. He was very um, upset. <laughs> I have enough magic left to heal one of the two of you. He says, looking to uh, Delilah and Mukbang. I will leave it to the two of you to decide which one gets healed. Oh, give it to Lilu. Uh, he kind of raises an eyebrow at Delilah. Uh, Lilu? Mug has a little. <laughs> Yeah. He has just a little bit of difficulty pronouncing my name. Oh, fair enough. And uh, I find it sweet. Fair warning. This is an on is he pulls the dagger out, uh, going to hurt. I will um, brace myself 
if, if I am the one being healed. Uh, yeah, so he, he pulls the dagger out on the word is in that sentence. So uh, by the time you actually get a chance to break yourself, he's already. It's just like it a. Ah! It's like the first loud noise she's made, like this whole time. You actually caught her off guard. Um, and then <laughs> still cast your wounds. That... Uh, Thank you. Wait, wait. Before it heals, Buck just slaps his hand down on the wound. Buck, help! Yeah. I kind of need to put my hand, I guess, actually. You know what? It's fine. Uh, he kind of holds his hand out uh, and takes uh, Delilah's hand and then casts Cure Wounds because he has to touch you to do it. He'd planned on covering this wound site, but uh, that's being taken care of. So Muck is good healer. And then uh, when Muck moves his hand away, uh, the wound is healed. And uh, Palamon says, Ah, look at that, Muck. You must have some sort of miraculous healing powers. Uh, Mama always told Muck he will amount to worm food, but Muck teach her he is now accomplished medicine man. Mm. He would be most proud. <laughs> I, uh, this is Palamon's new life goal, is just to keep Muck believing that he's actually a really good healer. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Delilah is delighted. <laughs> I'm, I'm only healing people that Muck puts his hands on. So that's it for the rest of the time I play Palawan. After, after 10 minutes, uh, the darkness subsides to where you couldn't see through it. There's still probably like three, at least three hours of darkness left, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. The normal darkness is is still there. Um, what are you guys doing? When these guys exploded, did they literally explode or did they just disappear? They flashed. If you go and search, are you? Yes. All right. You'll, uh, you'll find on the, uh, the one a pile of ash, ashes, and you'll see a ring that looks possibly familiar, somewhat distorted and uh, melted a little bit. Does it have my clan symbol on it? You think it does. Uh, it, 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 you know, through the melt and stuff, you, you can see a symbol that kind of resembles such. Hmm. Hey, this one had my ring on it. My necklace. Uh, he'll take off and search one of the other bodies. And you'll find something asimilar. You'll find kind of a pile of ash and you'll find aspects of uh, your necklace as far as that, depending on uh, what was it made of? Uh, it was kind of a leather cord with um, I called it precious seashells. They were kind of, you know, you get those seashells that yeah. almost got like a pearl finish on the inside. You don't, you don't find the leather but you find badly charred uh, shells. Oh, somebody's going to pay for that. <laughs> Delilah will search the bodies for what was taken from her. Well, there's no bodies and uh, there's just pile of ash. <laughs> well, the ash piles that yeah. remain of the bodies. And you'll find what was taken from each of you, but somewhat uh, burned, charred, melted, depending upon what, what it is, uh, <sighs> constructed of. <laughs> Wouldn't affect my necklace much considering it's made out of a tube and rocks. <laughs> well, it's, it's charred. It's just a pile of rocks now instead of there's no 
string on it. <laughs> yeah, the string would be gone, just like the uh, leather from Palamon's. I have a question from uh, earlier when you were describing. Um, you described as the light having a direction. So when they exploded, did they did all the light go into a specific direction, or was no? It just the light that had the direction was the Eldritch Blast. Oh, okay. That's good. Yeah. You find things? You, you, what about you, you find jewel cover? Uh, those who can find well, blah, those who can see well enough uh, might be able to see yeah. that she takes a child's wooden sword from off one of the people. That's hard. Muck Muck, Muck Buns, uh finds his remnants of his cod piece, the <laughs> sparkling gems charred a little bit, the uh, what metal pieces uh, melted and contorted, but uh, enough of it so you know what it was and that it was yours. What about the uh, daggers oh. that uh, that were thrown? Oh yeah, I got dagger in lake. This is it a good dagger? It's an average da uh, average standard dagger, black, uh, a bl uh, like a black metal. Uh, what about it, the uh, iron fist? Anything? Oh, else? I was curious that the, they stayed in place. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. The, the ones that pulled, they were still there. The ones left in, in the uh, wounded areas were still there. I'm going to take one of these black daggers. <laughs> your, your beard feels a little off weight one side. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> Mr. Fist, uh, well, something's wrong with your face. Yes. Yeah, like, like right there. He just reaches out that long arm and kind of tickles at the spot on the beard. You're missing, you're missing face. You lost fur like I lost fur. Yeah, he they, shows the little bite mark on his face. <laughs> they, they, they nicked me. <sighs> yeah, they nicked me too. He just shows him his leg. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to keep it. It looks good. Menacing. Ooh, biggest word muck knows. <laughs> and you are quite that. Mm. <laughs> he strikes the Captain Morgan pose with the, the leg that has the knife still in it. Just he mm. he. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Andy appearing in the. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to find someone to hammer this back into shape. It will not fit. Not as is. Oh, I can hammer it back in the shape. Yeah? Yeah. Easy. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> he hands <laughs> you the the melted gold and the, and the ruby. The uh, ruby goes on tip and it covers this and he just lifts his loincloth. Can you beat to size? <laughs> well, if you, if, you, if you spread your legs wide enough, I certainly will beat it to size. <laughs> Uh, now, now, children, play nicely. <laughs> just, just cover that thing back up. <laughs> just, he just drops it. Did I do a bad again? When we get back to when we get back to town and I get a proper forge, I can I can uh, remake it for you. Maybe this time Muck will splurge to have felt on inside. So it's soft, much better than the raw metal chafes. 
Well, do you it guys is... want to uh, attempt to uh, stay here and for the next till the dawn, or wander through the darkness? Oh yeah. Finish resting. In all the excitement, uh, Muck forgot we were sleeping. <laughs> Back to bed. Just reaches out to grab Alan. <laughs> Alan. <laughs> It's time for sleepies. There's not too much she can do to probably stop that from happening. <laughs> she could dodge, but I don't think she'll. She doesn't think you're trying to hurt her. So, well, do you now have a blanket? It's, uh, well, thank, thank, thank you, Mark. Mm. Thank you He's already out. Just. I'm so <laughs> <laughs> uh... She doesn't really try to get up. She tries to adjust to get something comfortable. <laughs> and the rest of the evening will go on a that point. <laughs> yeah. Sleepy times. Happy dreams. New dagger. Mm. Delilah now. would likely sleep propped up against a tree nearby so that if any try to sleep lightly. Okay. Um, are you guys gonna try to follow or are you gonna go back to uh, town mm. I guess that's a good question we uh, did find uh, all, all, all of our already. stuff yeah I think, did uh, we oh, my apologies no you go first I was simply wondering if we can find the cargo that is still missing. Um, no, uh, no, you don't find the, uh, the cargo. Um, do we remember what cargo is? It's uh, things that you move from one place to another. Yeah, no, uh, what we were moving. The, the it was. I will, uh, it was blankets. It was grain. It was some art pieces. Oh. Uh. Hey, Aelin will uh, fidget, fidget with the da- dagger that was stuck in her. <laughs> so you were going to fidget with the one stuck in Muck's leg? <laughs> yeah. You're not touching that. <laughs> Probably think uh, he's alive, not bleeding to death. <laughs> Muck, is that still in your leg? Yeah, he just went to sleep with it. It's, it's fine. <laughs> Alrighty, roll me a constitution saving throw at disadvantage. It's very much not fine. <laughs> I, I don't know what part of this you think is fine, but whichever part it is, you're wrong. <laughs> that is a 15. 15. Well, you see around where the blade is in your leg. Mm-hmm. That it's starting to turn black. For the love of. Oh. Here, here, Muck. I think you should let me uh, let me help. Mm. Uh, does it itch? No, it burns. Oh. Oh, that's no good. Here. I don't like it anymore. Take it out. Oh, well, I roll a 20. Medicine check. Uh, you can tell that it's infected highly. Almost on the verge of wanting to be blood poison and gag green. Uh, did they shit on Dagger before they stabbed Muck? They might have. Possibly. <laughs> Maybe we need to hear it. Mm. Uh, can I roll for a medicine check to see what we, if I think I know what needs to be done? 
Well, I would think with a 20 medicine, I might have, I might know that answer. Yeah, that's true, yeah. Yeah, you mean, well, you know that you need to get them back to town to, to a healer. Well, let's get them, yeah. We need to go back to town and get you some proper healing. So do we, ban I'm assuming we like bandage his leg then instead. Yeah. Okay. Is his movement affected at all? Well, it, it uh, isn't helping the infection, but there's, I mean, you don't have a whole lot of choice. Uh, right. Mm. Iron fist too small. You, uh, uh, pretty green one. Mm. <laughs> Yeah. I need your help. Uh, you'd like me to chop off your leg? Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> it would probably help. Can you pee on it? I could. Yeah, yeah, pee on it. What do you think peeing on it is going to achieve? Uh, my people do all the time. You boil, boil the pee down to a paste and put it wound, and wound heals fine. But no time to boil, so, so you... just pee. So why don't you pee on it? <laughs> oh. It's on outside of hip. So I could try to stretch. He just lifts the loincloth and tries to pull it around. <laughs> I told you to put that thing away. But he told me pee on it. Let's go back to town. We go back to town. In the meantime, someone pee on Muck. Um, uh, can I roll medicine? Let's see if I have a slightly better way of doing that. Yeah, go ahead. I still roll the 20, so. Yeah, I, 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 well, we got that one off there. She's looking for an alternative treatment method. <laughs> Besides P. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I probably don't. So so what, what, we need is, what we need is some kind of a moss. Oh, yeah. Can I look for medicinal herbs? Yeah, that'll help. Give me a survival check. Yeah, I'd really rather not pee on it if I'm being perfectly honest. Mark, help with survival check. I have proficiency. <laughs> Prof oh shit! Was it wrong? Two D twenty. Um, with advantage, I got a seventeen. All right, you'll uh, you'll find some uh, moss underneath a couple of the junipers, and you'll say. Oh, can put some juniper berries in along with it and, and uh and like that and uh, that that might help help ease the pain at least but ultimately we need to get back to, to the city yeah so get them pat patched up bandaged up and let's head on back home I agree. We have an injured party member now. This will have to wait. Alrighty. Oh. Out of pain, he can always, uh, out of character, he can use a uh, fighter, right? Yeah. Yeah, I could second wind it. Well, that's good for hit points, not diseases. Oh, that's fair. Mm -hmm. uh, if I still had some, uh, once we finish a long rest, once we get a long rest, I'll be able to uh, cure you with a lay on hand. Mm -hmm. uh, we had to get back to town for that. Yep. Well, let's head out. And I guess we got what we came for. Yo, and it'll take you the rest of the day, but with, with move, uh, moving around, and you'll get you'll get back to Bardswood. And the horses anytime during that. Say what? Did we find the horses on the way? 
uh, you'll see that when you come on into town, let's see here. Let's see here. That come on up. Oh. Why is that taking so long to load up? But you'll get to town, and as uh, you go on in, you'll see the the horse and the the horses and the carts are tie, uh, tied at the uh, guard station just inside the front gate. Though there's no bodies in the carts. Yeah, I guess I don't think they would expect to see that anyways. I guess we look for a healer of some kind. I mean, unless you want to wait the how long it's going to take to get a long rest. It'd be well, eight hours to take to your place. Yeah, it'd be over. Well, it'd be overnight. You're in town. Uh, I guess the question is, uh, do you have the gold to pay for a healer? Because if you don't, I think we can. Um... Let's go talk to somebody about that we were in the uh, in the caravan, and we might be able to get some healing. I oh, thought so. Uh, yeah, I guess we go to wherever we were supposed to go to once we arrived with the caravan. Well, I can't bring up the map for some reason, but you'll get. You'll get the you'll get the guards and they'll they'll go ahead and uh, direct you um, up to the uh, Bard College to uh, to be seen and dealt with there because they'll want to also. Uh, They'll also want to uh, hear your tale about what what happened. Yep. Um, I have. While we're there, can I get the black dagger either identified or, well, I guess identified magically. Well, there's okay. nothing magical about it. Okay. As as far as that, yeah. Uh, You'll be told that, um, and uh, Mukbang's injuries after a couple days will be healed. Uh, Y'all will be at uh, full hit points, full rest. Yeah. yeah. So what I, what I would say is, if uh, if they haven't healed Mukbang by the time we finished our first long rest. Uh, Palamon will go ahead and use Lay on Hands to remove the disease. And, and then here's other five points of Lay on Hands to restore any hit points that have been lost. And let's see here. Um, Luck still says you should have peed on it. Uh, it works. I, I say he uses Lay on Hands to remove it. What he actually does is takes Mukbang's hand, places it over the wound, <laughs> uh, and then uses Lay on Hands through Mukbang. Uh, Mukbang's hand and says, look, you healed it yourself. I don't know why you didn't just do that to start with. Power is oh. in him all along. <laughs> and there's a, uh, a a gnome master uh, ma a master bard uh, Jinx Fiddlesticks uh, that is asking you about your tale of what um, these strange shadows were and uh, and such and for your information because they'll say they've been uh, what, uh, we've had uh, some of our 
outside of uh, our city uh, residents and our workers that have been harassed by such things. And uh, we haven't been able to put a, ha uh, a hand on any information about them. And Master Fiddlesticks will uh, pay each of each of you uh, ten electrum pieces. You just will be using electrum, don't you? No, not really. Uh, actually, I like iron or bronze. Ten electrum? How much is that? Uh, two electrum equals one gold. Okay, so uh, one electron is five silver. So kind so basically five gold, more or less. Yeah, uh, effectively, yeah. but uh, gold is very rare in this part of the world, so you may yeah. have trouble converting it. The um, the common coin in this area is iron. What's an iron, then? Uh, well, uh, 10 iron equals a copper. Oh, oh so it's like it's filthy rich. Yeah. <laughs> I have a question then from character creation. Should we create, should our characters have had money in electum? No. Than... no, there's no reason to change that. It's... Okay. Well, we are in town. Muck has coin. Muck fixed leg. Time for Muck get drunk. <laughs> Wanders off. Oh, okay. Uh, Aiden would actually probably follow him. <laughs> All right, and uh, I'll go ahead. There's a good place to stop on things. Uh, you accomplished your mission, you'll uh, you'll go ahead and get one XP. Level two, baby. And Oops. I'll give you guys uh, two inspiration points for the RP. Awesome. Thank you. As far as that. So. Aww. We would yeah. have had three if you had peed on Muck. <laughs> <laughs> Ah... <laughs> <laughs>